Russian President Vladimir Putin is visiting Mongolia today despite an arrest warrant issued by the International Criminal Court for him to be held over allegations that he was personally involved in the abduction of children from Ukraine. His visit to Mongolia is a painful reminder of one of the shortcomings of this court. It relies on cooperation from its member states to execute arrest warrants. Mongolia joined the International Court in 2002 and last year even had a judge elected to join its appeals division. The court hasn't commented on Putin's visit to Mongolia but stressed last week that the country is under an obligation under the ICC's founding treaty to arrest Putin and send him to The Hague. The court itself doesn't have any way of enforcing this, however. It can report Mongolia to its governing body called the Assembly of States Parties or to the United Nations for lack of cooperation. This isn't the first time a wanted suspect has visited an ICC member state without being arrested. In 2015, then Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir went to South Africa despite a warrant for charges including genocide in his country's Darfur region. The court could do nothing and eventually in 2017 ruled that South Africa should have arrested him but did not sanction South Africa.